Forrest has any magic like that here today as their big underdogs. And Hartman's first pass. Piston, he's had some really good moments at times. He's going to give it to Matt Colburn, who finds running room right downhill. Great start. Both teams coming off by. He's felt since camp. Matchup well against Wake. Hartman to the outside, and he's complete to Flutenthal, the tight end. Both of these teams like to run with tempo. High snap. Hartman puts it in the belly of his running back. That's Colburn again. Hartman to throw on second down. He's complete to Greg Dorch, the talented receiver picking his way. Moving around with ease. Now Colburn. With the RPO system, that's when he's at his best play. The ninth play of the series. Hartman taking a shot down the middle, has a man, but it's overthrown. To do it, that won't be the first time that ball happens today. Now Hartman goes to again for Wake Forest. We'll call it five. They've already converted twice. Make it three times. First down catch for Surratt. The ball downfield now on third and six. There's a little bit of opportunity to get a stop route right in front of him to Surratt. Hartman flushed out of the pocket. And he'll throw to the sideline. So Wake Forest has a 3-0 lead. They went 15 plays and kicked a field goal on their opening series. This is series number two, and it's Colburn start living up to expectations. So far, so good here today. Over the middle, there's the tight end, Brandon Chapman. He gets all the way. Completion. Hartman sets. He goes back over. And two of their losses this year been to top four teams. So keep that in mind. Wow. Play to move the chains. It's a casual one-hander on a Saturday afternoon. Now Hartman back to the air, gets some pressure off his backside. Eludes the rush. Underthrows Surratt. And Clay Manfred, Paul Carcaterra roaming the sidelines. We'll see how the true freshman Sam Hartman responds with his wake offense. Eludes the rush, he'll flip it away. Hartman sings it over the middle. Complete. First down. Alex Bachman. Finally dragged ball. Carney pops out of nowhere. 190 yards of offense in the first quarter for Wake, and they're going to get another first down. Taxing on a defense. Hartman hit again. That's going to be the second sack today for the Florida State. Himself clean as so is an offensive line, but see that blitz? Throw right into it like you've done already. Second and 16, Hartman sings it to Surratt, incomplete. Middle linebacker out this week with mononucleosis. Sternod moving over to play middle this week. And he has played well, including causing that turnover as Hartman. Turn the ball over, you're going to lose football games. Play fake, complete to Jaquari Roberson. And he's going to be a little quicker here as Carney comes back in motion to the left of Hartman. Pressure off the edge. Hartman ducks out of the way. Eyes downfield, throws to the sideline, incompleted points. 41 straight winning seasons, 36 straight bowl appearances. Those streaks in jeopardy this year is one. Hartman taking a shot deep down the sideline, well incomplete again. Trips down the field for completion. Hartman incomplete. Ryan Burr. Communication wise, who's Wake Forest going to block and how? There's Carney. Cut down, and now we'll see if Willie Taggart's starting to see from the Wake Forest defenses. Maybe they're worn out from being on the field so much. There's a low snap to Hartman, able to recover and get it to Colbert. And. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a rap name? I do not have a rap name. I, I, I don't know what it would be <laughs> if I did. There's Colburn. Jay Burn. And Hartman's going to go down. And the huge pop artist that everyone other than Clay Matvick knows. <laughs> That's right. Uh, go fourth and one. Dave Clawson's going to lead the unit out there. Matt Colburn. I don't know. Late in the process, so he's got the momentum and he's a stud of a recruiter. 
I think it's safe that that ball was kicked out of bounds. So you have to go downhill, and he's there to get that ball batted up. There's Carney. Oh, his head is going to be third down and long. And even when he was at Western Kentucky, he was getting players out of this state. Hartman in trouble, and he's going to be sacked again. In it's plus to go in this football game, but do you think Willie Taggart feels better about the direction now after the way the team has played here today? That'll be very impressed by Mackenzie Milton, but are you surprised that the Clemson-NC State game hasn't been tight? A little bit. I thought that NC State offensively would make some hay through the air against Clemson. I canceled it, so I think that would have been a big litmus test. NC State was that one undefeated team I just had no clue about. Yeah. Well, here's Hartman back in the ball game for Wake Forest. And he the playoff committee will come out October 30th and make their initial ranking because until some of these teams play upper echelon common rankings, that's why the committee doesn't just have one final ranking. They go week by week by week. And a couple weeks ago, I got the chance to go and do a mock selection experience in one of them too, right? Your Connecticut boy, yeah. Tariq Black. Where's he from? The cut. Yeah. <laughs> the cut. I just the point. Alabama in a head-to-head -head would be Ohio State, but now that Nick Bosa will not be coming back, maybe that idea what kind of shape he would come back in, and there's only a small, small sample of guys. We can't forget, he's a freshman. He's a true freshman, and this offense is very demanding of him, both physically and mentally. 45th pass attempt of the day is complete to Sage. Approaching 100 plays. Matt Colburn. Never understate that. I can appreciate these young student athletes playing as hard as they can, as much as they can. It's that first half. And now the clouds have opened up. Willie Taggart has his rain jacket on. And the defense. Where people go, huh, maybe he's onto something. You have my back, Cart. You're, yep. you're my guy. But here's the thing I'm not comparing him to LeBron today. I'm comparing him to when LeBron came into the, uh, the NBA years ago years ago and first came in and king and so if you're ucf you your goal you got to go blow everybody out that's got to be something on your mind go score as many points as you can and blow go, go blow east carolina out on the 100th play from scrimmage for wake four then florida state's defense woke up now newman incomplete well year josh heupel their new head coach come over and and like I said, they've, they've got to go score some points. They've got the weapons to do it. And Mackenzie Milton's a, a fantastic quarterback. Josh Heupel. Frost and Heupel's done a fantastic job. And they've got a big time date coming up against Cincinnati and then USF at the end of the year, Central Florida does. Trip to Raleigh and NC State. They take a shot toward the end zone, it's gonna land.